surprise, the world now has three fully autonomous networks, which is a remarkable development given that comms networks operating without human intervention weren't originally expected to appear until the 2030s. This newest edition belongs to Vivo, also known as Telefonica Brazil, which joins automation pioneers Beijing's Tsinghua University and China Mobile on an elite shortlist of organizations operating live production networks at the fourth level of the TM Forum's model, without human oversight. Like the AI and automation technologies that it's based on, level four autonomy is controversial. On the one hand, fully autonomous networks are the six million dollar men of telecom, faster, stronger, better than conventional networks that still use carbon-based life forms to oversee silicon-based infrastructure. But on the other, they're also in the vanguard of what many are afraid will devolve into a global automated dystopia where human beings lose their agency and their jobs to soulless machines created and controlled by big tech. <laughs> so, Vivo has the autonomous technology, but where does it come from? Well, that's a good question. In a written response, Vivo told me it developed the technology internally. Is he though? It's likely that Huawei is in the mix somewhere in Vivo's autonomous network for a few reasons. First, Huawei is behind both of the world's other L4 autonomous networks at Tsinghua University and China Mobile. Also, in March last year, 2024, Vivo and Huawei entered into a patent licensing deal which gave the Brazilian operator access to the Chinese company's 5G technology, including autonomous capabilities. Coincidence? I also spotted Huawei in some code in an obscure video about Vivo's autonomous capabilities that I found at two o'clock in the morning on YouTube. Oh, oh, here I come. Huawei isn't saying whether it was behind Vivo's L4 autonomous solution. It's likely trying to avoid irking its customer or the Brazilian government or revive the drama of 2020 when the US government tried to go all Team America World Police about Brazil using Huawei equipment and threaten slash scare it into not using the Chinese vendor. As usual with these things, that had the opposite effect. Brazil told the US to jog on. And today, almost 50% of Brazil's 5G networks run on Huawei, making you wonder when US politicians will wake up to the fact that other nations' administrations really don't take kindly to having orders barked at them by their yappy oligarchical neighbor. Why is everyone so stupid? The comms industry is now officially on the fully autonomous glide path. That's exciting. Also, a little bit scary. <laughs>